Hey everybody, welcome to part 24 of our Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory on PC Any% percent Game playthrough. We are at the end of the Kingdom Hearts 2 portion of the uh, World Tour uh, story mode. That's this game's story mode, basically. Um, so we have one world left for Kingdom Hearts 2. Well, in, in the way this game's structured, we technically have four worlds left. We have the world that never was... And then uh, two extra songs. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead to the, back to the world that never was. Listen to the uh, the kick-ass music for that world. We'll listen to some kick-ass boss music, and we'll uh, close out the Kingdom Hearts 2 section of the game. Go check our museum and our records and all that good stuff. And then once we've done all that, we'll call this episode a wrap. All right, we know where we're going, we know what we're doing. Let's go ahead and dive on in. All right, first things first. Let's go and do the world that never was. Sacred Moon, uh oh, okay. 45% uh, HP or more without items. 65% um, or more of ground enemies. Link a chain of 138 or higher on proud difficulty. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, let's see what happens here. I really don't want to skip a mission in Kingdom Hearts 2 because we've already done almost all of them, but this this might be this might be one. 138 is a pretty big chain to keep going on proud mode. want to look. I want to know if I got it or not, because I know if I look, I'll end up fucking up if I don't already have it. Oh, full chain. I guess I got it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so that might even be a clean sweep. Let's see. Alright, Sacred Moon is now added to Tracks Collection. Oh, nice. Alright, clear with 40% HP or more. Defeat all multi-attack enemies. 6,450,000 points or higher on Proud. Now uh, we'll throw a potion in. I like these HP percentage missions that don't say you can't use items. Alright, so we need a good score and we gotta make sure we get all multi-enemies. Damn 
whatever, let me go back and do that one on standard or even beginner. We had one miss, and it just happened to be one of the damn multi enemies. All right, deep drive is available in track selection. Alright, story scene number 112 from Kingdom Hearts 3 for collecting 15,800 rhythm points. Um, let's... Alright, so we got 11 blazing shards for clearing both songs. Um... Not that one. Uh, you know what? Let's just drop down a beginner and make sure we get this. That way we can move on to the uh, other two songs. All we have to worry about here is making it through the song and hitting all the multi-targets.
Oh, if we got a full chain, I think it's safe to say we got all the multi-targets. Alright. Alright, so our field music stage by this game standard and our uh, our boss song, Melody of Betrayal. Thirteenth Dilemma. Alright, so this one will be a multi-run, 55% uh, or more ground enemies, uh, 300 total glide targets, and a chain of 121 or more on standard. Okay. Um... I mean, we gotta go through it a few times for the glide targets anyway, so by that point, I should be able to figure this out. Just ignore the number and shoot for a full chain like usual. Uh, well, I'd say we got our required chain. And probably a good chunk of the glide notes we need, too. Alright, 13th Dilemma is available in track selection. Alright, so we gotta go through one more time and just make sure we don't miss any glide targets. Got Platinum Grade Key Art number 5 for collecting 16,200 Rhythm Points. Let's play through one more time to get those glide notes and then we can move on to our final song. Well, for this episode in Kingdom Hearts 2 anyway.
All right, all missions in this one are done. To ensure that Sora would make it to Organization 13's headquarters, Axel sacrificed himself. Roxas appeared within Sora and challenged him for the right to exist. But Roxas realized Sora's strength and disappeared. At last, Sora, Riku, and I were reunited. Kingdom Hearts loomed overhead, but Ansem the Wise managed to bring its completion to a halt. Sora, alongside Riku, faced the final battle with Xemnas, the last member of Organization 13. Alright, so we got the Platinum and Gold Grade Lushu, I mean Zigbar uh, Collector Cards for clearing that song. And now let's go take on Darth Sidious, I mean Xemnas, and the, uh, the Kingdom Hearts 2 True Boss Battle song. Alright, uh, what do we got for missions here? 55% uh, or more of hit targets. 65% or higher excellent or better rating, blah blah blah. 45% or more of slide targets on standard or proud. Alright, so we might have to do this one twice. Um, let's start on standard and make sure we get all the slide targets. And then we'll see if we can just clean sweep this in one shot. We'll definitely keep a potion on for, uh, for Xemnas. One miss. One frickin' miss. Man, that is aggravating. Alright, let's. Sh we should have clean sweeped the missions. As long as it was regular X1 or higher, we clean sweep the missions. Let's see. Alright, Darkness of the Unknown is now available in track selection. The field version of this song, so like the regular stage, is now available in track selection. Nice! Alright, we've completed every mission in the Kingdom Hearts 2 section. Awesome. Good way to wrap up this one. Alright, Story Scene 73 from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Back Cover. Reward for collecting 16,600 Rhythm Points. Alright, let's see the ending cutscene flashback for 2. We'll go check out all our uh, records section and then that'll be it for this. Xemnas was finally defeated. 
But after the battle, Sora and Riku found themselves trapped in the realm of darkness. Suddenly, a bottle washed up on shore. The message inside led them back to the realm of light. Alright, so we have unlocked uh, Team 3D, which is Riku and the two signature Dream Eaters. Um, and we also, <laughs> excuse me, we also unlocked uh, Team Days earlier when we finished uh, Kingdom Hearts 1's section of the game. Now see, I'm waiting for certain points to use the other teams. Um, we won't use Team 3D until we get to the Dream Drop Distance section of the game. Alright, so we have unlocked the one lousy world from Recoded, which we'll have to clear in order to get access to uh, Birth by Sleep and Dream Drop. Before we do any of that, next episode we're going to um, go back and start the, uh, the little day's side branch. Alright, so um, we have 186 out of 345 mission stars. We're doing pretty freaking good. Um, there are still... What is that? Alright, I'm getting a little tired here. My, my basic math skills are starting to fail. So we still have 21 of the, uh, the, we'll, we'll call that light purple, I guess, because I really don't know what shade of that color is. If somebody knows, feel free to tell me in the comments. Um, anyway, we have 21 of those stars left. And... That's weird. How many songs do we have left in this section? What color stars is this? I don't want to look at it yet. I don't want to spoil it. Um, okay, so we're missing 21 of this purple shade stars. Uh, I want to say most of them are on the day's path, and then maybe uh, the last three are in Recoded. Because it should be 7 songs times 3 stars is 21. Okay, so the day's path and the one Recoded path will get us the rest of those purple-ish stars and then i believe we'll be moving on to the uh the the light blue or turquoise or whatever that is when we go to the birth by sleep section be pretty damn cool if i can do all the mission stars i just i don't have faith in my ability to do it all but anyway enough of that let's go check out all our stuff and records and then we'll uh call this one a wrap all right, Keyblade Collector level increased. All character strength is increased by two again. Um, all right. So in the collection, let's see what we got for... Uh, all right, so key art cards, gold, we got number four, number seven, number 30, 36, 40, 48... 51, 53, on the platinum side we got number 5, number 23, number 55, alright, Station of Awakening, what did we get that was new? Uh, nothing new in gold, but on platinum grade we got number 4, number 18, all right, story scene cards. What do we got for new stuff here? Number 19, number 20, 33, 52, 73, 95, 112, 120, 121, 130, and for Platinum Grade, number 56, number 89, 
Alright, character cards for gold, we got Christmas Sora, Antiform Sora, uh, King Mickey, Old King Mickey, Organization Disguise King Mickey, uh, Donald's actual outfit, or with the actual hat, I guess, um, Pride Lands Donald, Space Paranoid's Goofy, Roxas, Organization Roxas, Ansel the Wise, UV Kingdom Hearts 2 version, uh, Fu and Rai from Kingdom Hearts 2, originally from Final Fantasy VIII, uh, Mulan, Mushu, Captain Shang, Mrs. Potts and Chip, Belle, Clara Cluck, Timon and Pumbaa. Huh, I never got that one on the PS4. What the hell? Stitch. Alright, let's see what we got for Platinum Grade. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora. Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku. Pride Lands Donald. whole lot. Oh, uh, Merryweather. Okay. Almost done. Uh, enemy cards, gold grade. Let's see what we got that's new. Crescendo, Silver Rock. Oh, Loudmouth. They were originally called Crescendos. Uh, Silver Rock, Crimson Jazz, Rapid Thrust. <laughs> I still can't say it with a straight face. Uh, Bad Dog, <laughs> Hook Bat, Lance Soldier, Gargoyle Knight, Gargoyle Warrior, The Night Walkers, Bolt Tower, Watcher, Shadow Stalker, <laughs> Dark Thorn, Storm Rider, Sniper, Twilight Thorn. Hades, Sean Yu's probably new. Um, Zigbar, Roxas in his uh, dual wield stance. Alright, Platinum Grade, what's new? Uh, Hook Bat, Trick Ghost, Hot Rod, not to be confused with the Autobot from the 1980s, uh, Dark Thorn. Twilight Thorn, Sean Yu, Zigbar. Alright, just Keyblades and then we're done. We got Oblivion, we got Bond of Flame, Fatal Crest, Winner's Proof, Twilight Blaze. Xehanort's Keyblade, No Name, alright, and then Platinum, probably, ooh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Ultima Weapon, alright, so that's everything we picked up since we started the Kingdom Hearts 2 Worlds. Uh, story Archive, we've... How come those aren't there? Oh, because those are from the day's side path. Alright, so we got all the story scenes for Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, these will fill in when we do days. So, they, they have the flashbacks listed like in chronological order, obviously with Birth by Sleep being the exception. But, um, just like you should play the games in release order, I am tackling the sections within this game in release order, at least wherever possible. Uh, Recoded's kind of a... They, they kind of put Recoded in a shitty spot in World Tour because... Really, you should play Birth by Sleep before Recoded, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that in this instance. But, anyway, so that's all the new unlocked cutscenes that we got. Um, theater mode... 
Uh, we haven't really played any more of the, um, the memory dive songs, so they're not gonna show anything new in here yet. Um, jukebox. Oh, wait a minute, what did I do here? Okay, so all the stuff we've done from Kingdom Hearts 2 is in here. Now, this excludes any songs that are track mode exclusive, of course. Um, alright. Records. Let's look at records. Um, we've got some... We've got almost... We, we do have some grade of symbol in almost every category on game records. Uh, World Tour. It says we've played it long enough to get the ultimate shiny Mickey symbol. Uh, missions completed, we're at gold rank, world's cleared, movies unlocked, we're at silver. By the time we're done doing what we're going to do in World Tour, these will all be shiny red with a crown on top. Versus battles, eh, I don't think we're going to touch that in this Let's Play. Item synthesis, we're going to have to go and touch that eventually. Uh, music stages. I don't know how far we're going to get in this section, because I think you have to kill a shit ton of Heartless to get that red symbol. Uh, the total amount healed. I mean, I'm trying to avoid having to heal. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, this is not going to be a 100% playthrough, so whatever we get, we get. Uh, we've got 10 feats so far. Um, not that I'm really putting too much into this either. Uh, the good thing about these is pretty much once they're done, you're getting the, the shiny red symbol anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't think we're going to shoot for 100% on this one, but I guess there's still time to change my mind if I really feel like it's feasible. Alright, um, and then let's go ahead and look at track selection. So we've got, and we already had all, all these Kingdom Hearts 1 ones uh, available. So see, what we have now here in track mode is this this one that I have the pointer on is the actual boss battle against Ansem. And then this is just the music with a regular Melody of Memory music stage. So we've got, we've got almost everything from Kingdom Hearts 1, Rechain of Memories, and Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, I'm not going to say we have everything because we still have the, uh, we still have some stuff to make. So see, these are all songs that we need to make so that we can actually have every song accessible in track mode. Now some of these we have the materials for already and then some we don't. Oh, these are just the music stage keys. Now, so see, some of these need to have the uh, the memory dive MS material, or the the material. So we picked up some of these along the way of doing um, World Tour. I'm not going to bother making these until we have access to all of them, because we're still missing quite a few here. And like I said, one of for to collect all of the uh, all of the memory dive or regular MS materials that are rewards from Rhythm Points, we need 25,000. So maybe once we reach that, I'll go and make all these. But uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I'll make what I can on screen, but if it comes to the point where we have to start grinding for materials, I won't do I won't do the grinding on screen. But um, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do a little bit of a synthesis guide after we do World Tour. Just so you y'all know exactly what you need to do to get these songs made. Assuming anyone's using this for an actual walkthrough and not just watching it for entertainment purposes. I mean, the game's the game's been out for a while, so I'm sure there's plenty of other uh, more vividly detailed walkthroughs than uh, than than my uh, let's play here. All right. Um, I think we're done. The only other thing I'm gonna do right now is. Ah, now nah, we'll do that at the start of the next one. Alright, so... We have concluded the Kingdom Hearts 2 portion of Melody of Memory. Um, when we come back next episode, we will go ahead and... switch <coughs> over to the... the Days team, and we will go ahead and... 
go we'll go back to where Kingdom Hearts 2 started and we'll branch off into the um, the 358 over two days uh, side path and it'll be the same as uh, Rechain of Memories should only be uh, two episodes to finish the um, the day's path honestly I may even throw recoded in with one of the day's episodes or actually you know what I remember one of the recoded songs having a really really miserable mission so I think we'll just keep that in its own episode just in case it takes me a few tries to get them anyway that's for the next few episodes for right now we are done uh, yep so Kingdom Hearts 1's done Chain of Memories is done Kingdom Hearts 2's done we still have a little bit of ways to go but we're getting there so as always thank you all for watching hope everyone's enjoying the game so far and until next time my friends may your heart be your guiding key